In this video, we're talking about how to create a good artist image. What's up guys, Brandon here from KDMR Music, the channel making you a more successful musician. Now, just in case you're new here, I do videos every single week about music marketing. I give you strategy tips and education and advice in videos just like this one. So if you're interested in that type of content, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything we post. Now, uh, today I'm answering a really important question that came over from Nana from the 90s, who is actually a member of our Master Music Marketing coaching community. You can join that community at mastermusicmarketing.com. You can actually get your questions answered individually. Um, but this question was so good, I decided to answer it for you guys as well. And that question is, how do you create your own image as an artist? And it's important because we are more and more in a visual society. It used to be that a song would come out and you would hear it on the radio for months. And then maybe the video would come out and you see that on TV. But sometimes the, the best songs never got music videos. And nowadays, it seems like if your song doesn't have a video, you're probably not even going to know it exists, right? You think of um, people like Cardi B and Meg Thee Stallion, Nicki Minaj and, and 6 9 and all of these artists who are launching lately, they launch their song and their music video the same day. And it's really important to them to maintain a consistent image, right? And those are people at the top of the charts. But what about people like you um, who are independent artists? How do you create an image that can stick with you and be recognizable? Well, it really comes down to a couple of things. I'm going to give you some tips on exactly how to create your image and some things that you may want to stay away from. Now, what is an image? Simply put, your image is just kind of another portion of your brand, and it's just what people know you for, right? When we think of um, Takashi 69, we know him for having rainbow hair, or maybe now we know him for other things, um, but we know him for the rainbow hair. Uh, for Lil Wayne, for a long time, we knew him for dreads and tattoos, right? For Jay-Z, a big part of his image for a long time was a New York Yankees cap, right? And now he's got the big afro with the dreads or whatever he's got at the end of those. Um, you know, there are people who have, you know, very distinct imagery. Think about when Nicki Minaj uh, first came out, right? She had a chain with the Barbie word logo on it, and she would have these colorful wigs. Like, that was her thing. That was her image. And what it did was it helped her to be recognizable, right? Your image is almost just as important or sometimes even more important than what your music sounds like. Now, a couple of keys about your image. One, you want your image to kind of go along with your music, right? And I say that um, specifically or especially to the those of us who are, or those of you in the audience who are female musicians, right? We're in a visual world and uh, unfortunately, a lot of women are judged by their appearance before they're judged by anything else. So because of that, you don't want to put out an image or an appearance that doesn't fully represent who you are, right? As artists, a lot of times what we make the mistake of doing is we kind of just copy images that we've seen from other people, right? So we see what works for other people and we just do the same thing. You know, if the front man from your favorite band has green hair on one side, maybe you'll do blue hair on the other side, right? We do things just because they seem cool to other people. And with women artists, unfortunately, a lot of the times what works image wise is, you know, showing a little bit more of your body being, you know, sexy or sensual. Right. But if your art isn't necessarily about that, then you don't want to portray that image because what will happen is as you start getting into some of the more advanced marketing strategies, you start running Facebook ads and things like that, people will look at you, but then turn away or they'll look at you and they'll, they'll ask you questions that have nothing to do with your music, right? And it really, really sucks, right? Now, another thing off of that topic, let's just talk about 
things that are important, right? Your image should represent who you are. Meaning if you're a skater and you make music about skating, then, you know, you would wear clothes that a skater usually wears. Um, some people make an image out of just being extreme, right? They're doing things that other people won't do. So they're unpredictable. I think about people like Busta Rhymes. It used to be that every time Busta Rhymes came out with a new video or a new photo shoot, it was just something really creative and exotic, right? So being different can be your image as well. But when you're starting out, a lot of the times it's difficult to gain traction if people don't know what to expect from you. Now, how do you create this image? Well, simply put, your image is what you consistently do. So if you want to, you know, have the schoolgirl image, you want to, you know, have your button up shirt and your plaid or whatever, like Britney Spears in the 90s, then wear that. Wear it often. Wear it a lot. Right. Be pictured in it a lot. Nowadays, it's easy because you can take your camera. I'm sitting in front of a camera right now and you can go outside, have a friend snap some photos of you in a few different environments wearing very similar outfits. So have a few photo shoots and then you put those images out on your Instagram. Make sure that on the cover for your album or your single, you look the way you look on your Instagram, right? Putting out consistent photos, consistent content with you looking a certain way is what's going to help you maintain and establish an artist image. So those are some tips for creating your artist image. What's your image as an artist? I want to hear about it. What things do you feel like people know you for? Do you have a crazy hairstyle? Is your makeup always done a certain way? Are you always wearing bright colored lipsticks or guys? Are you, you know, wearing a certain hat all the time? Do you have, you know, a cut up denim jacket that you like? Are you always wearing ripped jeans and Jordans? Or are you more of a Chuck Taylor guy, right? Those are things that all make up your image. And so I want to know what your image is and how you feel like it matches up with your music. Let me know in the comments below. Send me links to your Instagram. I'd love to check you guys out. Now, if you like this video, if you want more tips for marketing and promoting your music, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up so more people can see it and you can get more like it. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything else that we post. Until the next time, be safe, be well. Keep dreaming and work hard to make those music business dreams your reality. Peace.